Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. Welcome to Intuitive Design for Trading of Double Illustrator CC. In this video, you will learn how to use the Collection tool. In previous video, I explained what is an anchor point and what is a path. The link of the video in the description below. Watch that video tutorial before jumping into this video tutorial. For the Collection tool, go to toolbar, and you can see this uh, white arrow. You can select this. This is called Jack Selection Tool. Its short key is A. You can press A from your keyboard to select this Jack Selection Tool. When I select this selection tool, my mouse arrow is also changed with the tool selection. Um, if I select the selection tool, it looks like black. When I select Jack Selection Tool, it's uh, white. With the selection tool, I am selecting this rectangle. When I click and select this rectangle, uh, you can uh, see these small circles along with the corners. These circles are called corner widgets. With corner widget, we can create rounded corners. If your corner widgets are not uh, visible, in your selected object uh, you make sure that you are selecting the corner widget uh, option from view go to menu bar go to view and uh, select this option so your corner widget will appear whenever you select the object with track selection tool If I click and drag this corner widget, you can see the corners now become rounded. If I click and drag it outside, the sharp corners are now back. You can also click Ctrl plus Z to cancel the action. If I double click on this corner widget, a dialog box will appears on the screen you can see in this dialog box we have some options for corners you can see at this corner uh, section uh, this is called round this shape is called inverted round and this shape is called chamfer you can select any of this if I select this inverted round option and uh, I can also set the radius of the corner so it's up to you I'm selecting uh, and set its radius to 1 and you can also select the rounding option this is called relative and this is called absolute and you can see this is more smooth and I'm selecting this and pressing ok after that you can see when I click and drag this corner widget you can see this time corner roundness is inside of the shape because I selected the option of inverted roundness okay inverted round so you can play with all these settings to get amazing shapes you can create more fun with this rounding options and corner widget just practice and do things with just selection tool we can select the anchor point separately but with the selection tool we can't do this if i select with the selection tool you can see with selection tool we have all, no option to select the anchor points okay so with drag selection tool we can select the anchor points separately from the shape i am selecting this anchor point from the rectangle shape you can see i selected this anchor point i can click and drag it anywhere i can move it independently and I can um, change the perspective of the shape you can see obviously we can um, remove the anchor points from the shape and we can add the anchor points of the shape if I click on this anchor point and go to the control bar you can see the options for anchor points here is the option for converting the anchor points you can see I can convert selected anchor points to corner Um, this option is for smooth corner if I have a smooth corner like 
in this circle shape if i click this anchor point which is smooth corner point and if when i click on this i can convert it into the corner and uh, corner anchor point um, select on this you can see uh, the anchor smooth anchor point is now converted into corner point you can see and uh, you can see how easily the leaf shape is now created so I'm going back if I select this kind of point and uh, you can see this option I can convert selected anchor point to smooth you can see this is the corner point I can create this corner point to smooth by clicking on this option if I select this option you can see the corner point is now become smooth and smooth corner point and it's have its handles and it's become smooth we can also remove an anchor point from the shape if I select this anchor point and click on this option remove selected anchor points you can see the selected anchor point is now removed from the shape if you click on the selection tool and you can see uh, this small arrow option it's mean we have more tools in this uh, drag tool option if I right click on the uh, on this um, tool you can see I have one more option for drag selection tool which is group selection tool I can select it from this panel but if you want to make it this panel floating you can click on this arrow and you can see now the drag selection tools are in a floating panel I can move it anywhere and uh, you can see this uh, option which is called curb selection tool with this group selection tool we can select objects and shapes within a group first of all I'm going to create a group to show you I'm creating one more rectangle and changing uh, changing its color okay and now with selection tool I'm selecting these two rectangles and creating the group control plus G with control plus G you can create a group of object now this is a group okay and I'm selecting this group selection tool and I want to select this rectangle only to make sure I unselect all the things and only select the object and shape which you want to select and I want to select this rectangle so I'm clicking on this and selecting it with the group selection tool now this um, this rectangle is selected with the group selection tool and uh, I can make changes uh, within a group by selecting with the group selection tool and uh, if you want to change the color you can change the color of this rectangle and if you want to change the anchor point position or you want to change the traction of the shape click on drag selection and uh, you can change the anchor settings you can create it around it and uh, like this and they can move this to the center here you can see how easily I made changes within a group and uh, I select this rectangle within the group by group selection tool this tool is called lasso tool we can select um, multiple anchor points or specific anchor points which we want to select from the shapes lasso tool is uh, helpful when if you have a lot of anchor points and you want to remove specific anchor points from the shape and you want to move any um, anchor point from the shapes and if you have a lot of objects in your um, artwork we can use lasso tool to select specific uh, art from the area 
for example i have uh, these flowers and um, i want to select uh, this flower and uh, this and this so with slicer tool i can select them and i want to change their color so i'm selecting with lasso tool like this and uh, i'm going to change their color I hope this video is really helpful for you to understanding the text section tool, as a tool and group section tool. So practice all these tools. Um, in other tutorials we will learn to create different shapes with the help of text section tool and we will create icons, we can create illustrations. So stay tuned with me. If you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will get the notification whenever I will upload a new tutorial. So thanks for watching.